What are you doing here? Just kidding, I put you here. I would say it's Tuesday, isn't it? It's Wednesday and we are in the UK, baby. I'm so excited, y'all. My husband and I are in the UK. This is our first time traveling outside of the US together as a married couple. And we are here on behalf of our amazing friends over at Seachem. They do like stuff for aquariums. My husband and I have aquarium. There's a really cool event happening. So we're here for them and because of that. And over the next two days, we're gonna be like going to like a distributor show with Seachem. I don't know how much of that I'm gonna show, but then we're going to be going to London. I'm in my homeland right now. It's like seven in the morning here. I'm actually really surprised that I'm even awake at all right now because I slept horribly last night. The jet lag, it was giving to me all. Breakfast is at eight. I'm getting ready. Richard is out walking around the city that we are in right now. I think it's called Bedford and he's getting some coffee. He might give me a little treat, who knows. I'm just going to get ready, film that, and then we'll be on to breakfast. Hi, I'm filming too. We're getting coffee today. Which one? That one. The big one? Oh. I also got a cheeky little tree. It's an apple. Is that like a tart or a straw? Yeah, it's like an apple tart, maybe. You wanna take a bite? Mmm. That's really good. You want another bite? Yeah. Tell me why Richard is wearing this outfit. Now, film what I'm wearing. We are wearing same exact outfit. Yeah, Richard. Oh, I dropped my bread. Richard and I just did our Christmas crackers. I completely forgot to film it. I've got a joke for you. What's okay. a dog's favorite carol? I don't know. Bark the herald angels sing. Oh my gosh. Well, we are at a Christmas party right now. It is pretty, pretty lit. We're gonna eat food and then dance it up on the dance floor and then I'm gonna go to bed. So I'm exhausted from today. train we're headed to London the past two days were really jam-packed with us doing stuff with Seachem so I didn't film all too much because of that but it was really fun we got to go to like a little show that they were doing we also got to go to a really fun like party Christmas event for them to celebrate just the end of the year but now we get to have like 24 hours in London it's typical London weather like you would think dreary rainy it's the mood it's the vibe the real London experience luckily it's like 50 degrees Fahrenheit so thank god it's not 30 or else I would be shivering my timbers We are walking around Notting Hill, Notting Hill Market. Yeah. We got some watches. And now we're we gonna find some gifts for our friends. And I'm gonna take a picture of police. Take a picture of the kids. Hello. Lovely. Lovely. Ready? I want to read velvet cookies. No, me too. That and this, the almond Danish, the red, <gasps> the berry Danish. Stop. Gareth chose the red velvet cookie. It's good. Is it good? It's so good. That is beautiful berry Danish. That was a dream. Oh my gosh. The like little custard or whatever that is. There's like honey all over it. Dang. Where are we? What is this place? Royal Quarter Cafe. It's the vibe. 
We are about to go get some hot chocolate. I'm so excited. We were going to take the underground, but they literally had everybody evacuate because there's an emergency going on. I'm glad we got off to go to the Tower of London. I know, we got off to go to the Tower of London right over there. And we gotta go to Tower Bridge. It was really dope. Now we're gonna go get some hot chocolate. We're either gonna walkie or not walkie because my foot is crazy right now. We're gonna get Uber. This is the most beautiful and crazy thing I've ever seen in my life. So we have to wait for it to melt and then we stir it in and then we enjoy it. I got the salted caramel hot chocolate. Gareth, what kind did you get? I got hazelnut praline. And then Richard just got the regular one. The, the good old, the old fashioned, you know? Moment of truth. I stirred it all in, so let's see. This is so good. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, shout out to my friend Preston who recommended it for us. We also got him a gift. We got him some chocolates and we got his girl a gold watch. So, slay. You like it? It's so good. It's so good. Shout out to Richard for treating us to our one night in London. Oh, this is glorious. Oh, our bags are here. I want to see the loo. So cute. Is this a queen? This looks bigger than a queen. Thank you, God. Because these beds be small up here, I tell y'all. We're going to have the best sleep tonight. I'm so exhausted. Hopefully. Hopefully. We have not been sleeping that well, so... We'll see what happens. Also, a moment for the bag. Nobody has commented on my bag. When tour sports. If you know, you know, okay? If you vogue, you vogue. Also, I want to give you all a little outfit of the day. I got this from Abercrombie and it has been the best rain jacket slash winter parka. It is so soft, as you can see right here. Then I have more Abercrombie underneath, little sweater. These I got in my newly box, newly. Please sponsor me. There are the Maeve leather pants from Anthropology, which fun fact, this hotel is in collaboration with Anthropology. My dream. And then I got these shoes from some random Nordic brand. <laughs> This is my I wanted to show y'all a little close up of the different watches that I got. So I got these two for your girl for me. And I love this one because one, Opal is my favorite gem. And this is like a rainbow opal. And then I got this one that is Oh, it's just gorgeous. It has like the little diamonds around it. I think this one was also either made in England or Japan. And then we got Richard this one. What kind of a watch is this, Richard? Uh, what Psycho. Brand? A Psycho. Psycho. Seiko. I don't know what I'm saying, y'all. But we got him this Japanese watch, which is funny because Gareth is a Psycho. Mine's new though. Then for one of my friends, this is Royal London and I can't wait to give it to her. It's so cute, I got a really good deal. I wanna show you all some of the little sweets that we got. Not only did we get hot chocolate at Dark Sugar's Chocolate, I also got a bunch of little sweets and they're so good. I don't even know what the flavors are. I know this one that has a little vial in it is like a mango juice with chocolate. But yeah, if you're ever in town, what part of town was this again? I keep forgetting. Shortage, shortage. Shortage. Shortage was dope. We didn't go to a Soho today. I kind of wish we did, but hey, next time when we come back, I'm just ready to eat an actual meal today because all I've had is chocolate, a hot chocolate, a little Danish, and three bites of a sandwich. Girl dinner. Let's cut to me actually eating a meal. All right, y'all, we just finished eating dinner. Um, needless to say, it was so good. Did you enjoy dinner, Richard? Yeah. Uh, 10 recommend, y'all. Richard is ordering us some breakfast tomorrow. We decided to just do like a little bit of breakfast in bed situation because we gotta get up early tomorrow and then we're gonna leave. But for now, it's time for me to do my skincare routine. Oh, I love this, like this, just a little a little glazed donut we love a good glazed donut don't we and then i'm gonna get some shut eye 
because I'm exhausted. But yeah, time for some shut eye. I'll see y'all tomorrow for breakfast coffee shop date, you and me and my husband Richard. And then I'm going to the airport for a 10 hour flight back home. Oh my goodness. We woke up. We are waiting on our breakfast in bed. I'm in my Durf Avenue pajamas and these are truly the softest thing I've ever worn. They're so comfy. And I'm so tired, y'all. We went to bed late last night. Excited to eat breakfast. Our breakfast is finally here. Wow, look at your eggs, Benny's. This is all I wanted, British eggs, Benny's. Thanks, Benny's. Says, they even give you French press. That's actually so nice. You got my apple juice. I kind of wish I got a tea, y'all. I think just from all of the walking and the traveling, I'd only get it like six hours of sleep. I'm not feeling the best, but I know once I have that tea, get some food in me. Get a little warm because I'm a little cold. I'll be feeling better. I ordered some sourdough toast for myself. I have some jams and spreads. I also have yogurt and granola. Just keeping it basic because I'm not a breakfast person. We're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna enjoy it. Today's OOTD. The travel fit matching from Abercrombie because that's literally my life now. I don't know where I got the beanie from, had it forever. Got my hook is on because my feet are jacked up. Rip. Let's go. We kind of got the whole city to ourselves, aside from like 12 people <laughs> that we've run into. So we actually just stopped by a second coffee shop called Redemption Roasters. And I kid you not, the second I walked in, it smelled like cookie dough, toffee. I wanted to eat the whole place. And I don't like coffee, so if that was the coffee that was brewing, then is that what that was? Yeah. I like coffee all of a sudden. How is it though? Richard got a second little It's great. Cup. I threw away my espresso and got this a long black instead because this their coffee was superior. Nice. And I bought some beans. Beans and a cookie. Beans and a cookie. It smelled great in there. But now we're walking back to the hotel. We're gonna finish our packing and then we're off to the airport. That's it. <laughs> I just took my shower. I did my skincare. We are wearing the jammies. Like, look at how stinking cute this is. I also have one that has Snoopy all over it, and I love that too. Also, don't don't look at that. Don't look at that. It's a little it's a little dirty right now. It's currently like 7:30. I've been up for way longer than I should be awake right now, and I'm exhausted. I have been up technically since 1 a.m. and it is my bedtime. Richard is swinging by the grocery store. But I'm gonna go to bed and <laughs> so excited. I'll talk with y'all more when I wake up in the morning. But for now, toodles. <laughs> so our friends Chelsea and Preston are, what? Oh, friends Chelsea and Preston just got here and I'm going to give them the gifts that we got them. I'm so excited. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so these are our friends Chelsea and Preston. They took care of our fish and we got them little gifts. So close your eyes. Put out your hands. Yes. Gosh, I've always wanted one of these bags. Box of chocolates from the hot chocolate place that you recommended. So you oh did go. <laughs> it was so good. Yes. 
we, we went to a we went to a vintage Thanks. market and they had a bunch of like vintage watches and I got you this one specific because it yeah. says Royal London on it. Oh, right? I love it. This and it's small because I have tiny wrists. Oh. <laughs> I came, well, I was like, we need to find something for them, and I was Aww, like, well, this is London so on it, so it'd be perfect. And then you recommended the place, so I was like, we gotta get it. We gotta get it. <laughs> like, yeah, we gotta do that. Okay, now that our friends are gone and we gave them their gifts, we sat around, we chatted, we ate some chocolates. It was a good time. I'm going to finish wrapping up some Christmas presents. I'm not going to show them on here. In case any of my family members watch this. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning into the vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you made it all the way to the end of the vlog, shout out to you. Let me know um, either one, what your favorite scripture is or a scripture that's like speaking to you in this season. Or number two, what you are most excited for this holiday season. You should subscribe, hit the bell. New videos come out every single Sunday. And then down below, I have all my social media linked as well as my podcast. So if you want more content, especially content that really dives into scripture, the videos drop on the Bought and Beloved podcast YouTube channel on Tuesdays and the audios release to like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that stuff on Wednesdays. I'll see y'all later. Bye.